In this video, let's take a look at component interaction using a service. To be more specific, how we can use notifications for component communication. We will learn a new concept that we haven't learned in any of the Angular videos in the channel, and that is the concept of a subject. Now let's first understand what we want to achieve, what is a subject, and how we can use a subject for component interaction. Let's say we have two components, teacher and student. They may or may not be related. They could be parent-child, siblings, or not at all related. But they share the same instance of a service. The teacher component wants to send a message to the student component. For example, the teacher wants to wish good morning. When the message is received by the student, the student responds with good morning teacher. Similarly, if the teacher appreciates the student by sending a message well done, the student responds with the message thank you teacher. This is the component interaction we wish to achieve. Now we cannot use the event emitter class because the components may not even be related. And even if they're siblings, for example, there is a lot of hierarchy you will have to get through which makes the code difficult to maintain. Instead, we will be using a special type of observable known as a subject. From the world of RxJS, a subject is an observer and an observable. Or to put things in a simpler way, a subject involves taking the notifications from a single source and forwarding them to one or more destinations. And the subject is usually placed in a service. So if the teacher wants to send out a message to one or more students, the teacher sends that message to the subject. The subject then pushes a notification to all the components that have subscribed to it. So if there are five students subscribed to the subject, they all receive the message from the teacher. Now then, what we have to achieve in code is step one, create a subject and expose the subject as an observable. Step two, send the message from the teacher component to the subject. Step three, subscribe to the subject from the student component so that the student can react to any messages from the teacher and thereby fulfilling the component interaction. Let's begin with the code. Now to get us started, I have already done the project setup. I have generated a new project called service demo using Angular CLI. I have also generated a new child component. In the child component HTML, I simply have a heading that says student. And in the parent component HTML, which is app component HTML, I have a heading that says teacher, two buttons that say greet student and appreciate student, and also the child component selector. If you run the application, you should be seeing this UI in the browser. The heading teacher, the two buttons, and the heading student. Let's implement the component interaction in the three steps that we just discussed. First step is to create a subject and expose the subject as an observable in the service. Now we don't have a service yet, so let's generate one using the CLI. In the terminal, in the project folder, run the command ng, g for generate, s for service, followed by name of the service, which we are going to call as interaction. This generates a file interaction.service.ts. Now we are ready to create the subject. We create a private property that is a subject. Now the convention is to create a property appended with the word source. The subject is kind of like a source from where the messages are sent to the component. So that makes sense. Private underscore teacher message source is equal to new subject of type string. Make sure to import subject from RxJS. Next, we expose the subject as an observable. The convention when declaring an observable is to append a dollar sign. 
So teacher message dollar sign is equal to this dot teacher message source as observable. Finally, for step one, we create a method that accepts a message from the teacher component and then pushes that message using the observable. Let's call the method send message, which accepts a message of type string. And all it does is push the message onto teacher message source. So this dot teacher message source, and we call the next method passing in the message. All right, now for step two, sending the message from the teacher component to the service. Let's go back to app.component.html. Now we send the message on click of these two buttons. We could use a single method, but I'm going to create two different ones. On greet student, click binding, and the method we are going to execute is greet student. Similarly, on the second button, on the click event, we are going to execute the method appreciate student. Let's define these methods in the class. Now what the methods are going to do is just call the send message method in the interaction service, passing in a message. And since we need the service, let's inject it in the component. In the constructor, private underscore interaction service of type interaction service. And make sure to import the service as well. Now we can define the two methods. Greet student is going to be this dot interaction service dot send message. And the message is going to be good morning. Similarly, appreciate student is going to be this dot interaction service dot send message. And the message is going to be well done. So that completes step two. For the final step, we need to subscribe to the observable in the student component. So open the child component class. And since we are making use of the subject as observable, and that is defined in the service, let's begin by injecting the service. So private underscore interaction service of type interaction service. Make sure to import it as well. Now generally, we subscribe to observables in the on init lifecycle hook. So in ng on init, this dot interaction service dot teacher message dollar, which is the observable, and then subscribe to it, dot subscribe. When we subscribe, a message is received. We can check what the message is, and the student can respond accordingly. To keep things simple, let's just alert the response. So message, and then an arrow function. If the message is good morning, alert good morning teacher. Else if the message is equal to well done, alert thank you teacher. All right, that completes our code. Let's test it out. I'm going to click on the greet student button and we get the response, good morning teacher. I click on appreciate student, I get the response, thank you teacher. The components are interacting with each other using a service. More specifically, a subject defined in the service. Let me go over the concept one more time. We begin by creating a service, defining a subject and exposing it as an observable. The subject can now accept messages from the teacher component and broadcast that message to any component that has subscribed to the observable. In our example, that is the student component. The student component will receive the message and respond accordingly. Now for our demo application, we are using a parent and child component, but this concept holds good even if the components do not have a parent-child relationship. So there you go. Angular component interaction using a service. By now, 
I hope you guys have a good understanding of angular component interaction. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.